What I'm going to show you how to do today is to put a meeting on your Outlook 365 or Office 365 calendar, check somebody else's calendar, and move that scheduled appointment or meeting to a time that is available for both of you. So here I have myself out in the future where I'm a little bit more open, uh, and I'm going to put a scheduled meeting in here between 9 a.m. and 10 a.m. I'm going to call it a meeting nice and generic. I could add a location if I would like. I can still change times. I could save it. And that's how I would normally make uh, an appointment or, or schedule something on my own calendar. But if I go over here and I click on more details, I have some good options. Now, there's a bunch of other things for repeating, setting reminders, all of that. You should be familiar with that already. But over here under people, I can actually add people. And if I want to require somebody to come to this, then what I can do is I can start typing their name. In this case, these are people I meet with a lot. I can put their names in, but I can also do something like this, and I could pick somebody like, say, this gentleman, Dan Crane. I can request that he sends me a response. I can click on this calendar here. What this is going to do is this is going to bring up our calendars side by side. Here is mine right here, and here is Dan's calendar. You can see that there is nothing here right now. There is a faint gray line around it. It's a little bit hard to see. If I change this time, it just makes it a little easier to see. Uh, you'd, of course, have to uh, look closely, but I understand on the video this may not be clear. So right now, there is a box around there, and you can see, though, at this common time, both of us are free. So this is a good time to schedule this meeting. So I hit OK. And then all I have to do is go over here, hit Send, and now he will have this. I'm not going to hit Send because I don't want to actually invite him. I'll hit Discard instead.